Well, it's definitely nice and cozy here in the Gage family kitchen. And Sandy, what are you rolling out for us today? Ah, I'm making some Welsh cakes. James Gage, uh, the man that built this house, his mother was Welsh, and this is something that I'm sure she would have known how to make. Nice, simple ingredients. The currants, they probably would have grown themselves and dried them. And um, just flour, a bit of egg. You were lucky if you had eggs this time of year. Did you know chickens don't lay eggs in the winter? I actually didn't know that, so mm -hmm. I learned something yeah, new today. Yeah, we trick them now by putting them in bright building. Then they would have been running out. They would coat them in fat or rum. Sometimes just boil it just for a second, just to harden the shell, and that would keep it from going bad. But the eggs would have definitely been at a premium, you know, as the weather got cold. Mm -hmm. So we have, um, we have some actually being cooked at the moment. They would cook it in this. This is called a tin kitchen or reflector oven. How cool is that? And they're actually done, so Ooh. you'll get to taste them. I'm they excited. actually get a nice smoky flavor over the fire. Yeah, yeah I, I can imagine what nice and natural flavor they would get from bringing over their wood hearth here. Yes, and you will, and you will notice it. Mm -hmm. you'll, we'll have to try them. Now, I'm also making an apple gingerbread cake, Ooh, and that method is nice. a little bit different. It's, um, it's in, it's, this is called a bake pot, and um, we've taken the coals off the top already, but it would be coals piled on top, and you'd shovel that off, and then when you lift your, your lid, Look inside that. is your... See, and I, I never really thought of how they would have made cakes and breads back then. I, I just, I guess we can take that for granted, right? Exactly. And you know, they would have baked bread every day. Cake would have been something special. You wouldn't eat that every day. But uh, this apple gingerbread, I think, is about ready to come Ooh, out. Look so at look that. that. Apple gingerbread. Now that's a holiday delicious. treat. Delicious. And we actually will have some, uh, some treats for people to try um, at Battlefield over the Christmas season. So um, that looks we good. have a special event planned for, for December 14th. I so know. Very exciting. people will come and try things. I know. You have to try, come and try this. All right. Mm. You're going to want to stick around because next up, we have a very special guest right here at Battlefield House. We'll see you guys soon.